Boxing. Wonderful sport. You know, I love to rumble, young man, rumble. Ah! Today, we're supporting the Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame Trade and Consumer Show. Let's get out of the rain, shall we? Welcome to the D.O. Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Aposio, and thanks for tuning in to another episode. I would call this episode maybe a boxing housekeeping and, um, you know, updates. Uh, so one of the first things um, that I want to mention was um, rest in peace to Ray Rudder. Um, we've lost an important per person in uh, the boxing community because Ray Rudder has passed away. Uh, the funeral services are going to be on um, on Friday, May the 6th, 1 p.m. Uh, and I believe it's in Brampton. Check out Boxing News Canada on Facebook. Uh, check out Boxing News Canada, uh, run by Troy Talbot, for details on that. And um, he was, Ray Rudder was uh, somebody that ran Canada Star Boxing, that provided boxing to all the bars. Uh, I believe it's in Ontario. Um, he was um, described by some as one of the best cut men out there. Um he he worked corner he was involved in in all aspects of boxing basically and um he was a guy that genuinely loved the sport of boxing and um and gave a lot to the sport of boxing so a uh, very well respected man unfortunately passed away i don't know what um the full details are um but if you know him and um you have an opportunity to attend on uh, may the 6th um, check out Boxing News Canada, please, for the details. The The next piece of of news, basically, I wanted to talk about was uh, Guillermo Campos. Guillermo Herrera Campos, um, he, um, I got to see him when he left the hospital. Uh, he was walking with a cane. Um, his... He's getting better. He's uh, he flew out to Mexico, I believe it was um, either Tuesday or Wednesday morning, and um, you know, uh, just from his his mouth, he was very grateful for all the the help that he received from everyone. Um, you know, all the uh, well wishes and and people that came to see him, he was really appreciative of that, um, and I think that was awesome too of the boxing community how they came together to help. Uh, someone that was just in an unfortunate circumstances from our community. Um, so thanks to everybody that participated in, in, in any way with regards to uh, Mr. Campos. Uh, the other stuff that's going to be happening this weekend, Saturday, May the 7th, is uh, the Boxing Trade Show, which is going to be taking place on um, on May the 7th, Saturday. So... The setup for the vendors is going to start at 9 a.m. and go to 11 a.m. So 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., uh, bring whatever items you need to bring um, and take as long as you need to set up up until 11 a.m. because that's when we want to open the doors for the public. Um, please bring the items in through the back, not the, the front glass doors. This is going to be in the um, information package as well that was available either on a download from my app the do app um it's available through my website damianacposio.com and um either it might have been given to you in person mailed or emailed to you if you're a vendor and you don't have it i know we've had a couple of vendors come on uh at the last the last um couple weeks um just ask me and i'll provide it for you and um, this trade show is going to be, it looks like it's shaping up to be really an awesome trade show. Happy to have it again, um, bringing it back to people for another year. Um, this is our sixth year, and uh, we pre-sold 650 tickets. So whether that shows in attendance, we're going to wait to see. But it's, um, it's looking very promising. And so thanks to everybody that's participating in that. The trade show is going to go from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m., and then we shut down. That means everybody's got to leave. Um, the vendors will tear down. Uh, my team will be transforming the hall to get ready for the induction ceremony in the evening. The induction ceremony is a separate event with a separate ticket. And it's going to go from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
Um, the fighters are going to be there early weighing in between 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. They can come down. Um, they can do the medicals and weigh-ins. Um, the public is not going to be privy to that because the main hall will be closed at that time. Um, the doors will reopen at 7 p.m. And for the, it's, it's, the induction ceremony is the name of it, but there's going to be live amateur boxing. And um, the, the doors will open at 7. The fights will start approximately a half hour later if there's no issues. Um, and the fights will get going from 7.30. That's when the meals will be as well um, for those that bought tickets with meals. And, um, and that will go, the fights will go until approximately about 9, 9.30. And uh, if we're on schedule, then we're going to be doing the awards and presentations. Um, so, so during that time, um, the scholarship recipient will receive his check. So those of you watching, don't try, don't try and catch this one. But um, that's when the recipient will receive his check. And then we're going to be um, recognizing the inductees for 2016 that have made their contributions. And they will be getting plaques like this. Um, it's uh, their information printed onto a metal plate and, uh, and then mounted on a plaque. So they came out extremely nice. The, the, the graphic design was extremely nice for this as well. And um, they'll receive a plaque. Plus, we're also going to be putting a plaque in the actual Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame. And we're going to just basically give you um, a brief overview of what the Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame is and what we're planning on doing in the near future and details about the next show coming up next year. Um, after the show is done, we should be wrapping up about uh, 10.30 p.m. And um, the after party begins at Old, uh, Old School Bar and Grill, which is um, at Dixie and Eglinton in Mississauga. And uh, the, the, basically the atmosphere of the Old School Bar and Grill is really nice. It's, um, when they say Old School, I guess it, it'll bring you back to about the uh, 80s. Um, they've got live uh, arcade machines, the old, uh, the old style arcade machines. Um, they've got video games, they've got uh, lounge chairs, um, and the food is amazing. Um, so they're doing 50% off their, their wing price. They're offering $5 wings for a pound, and uh, the wings are really good there. All the food is really good there, actually, and um, they're doing a deal on their beer as well. So if you can make it to the after party, that would be great. And uh, we hope you enjoy the day on Saturday. It's, uh, it's going to be a full day with three events. And then um, you can get lots of rest for Mother's Day. And, uh, you know, it's not a bad, it wouldn't be a bad gift to bring mom out for the induction ceremony or even the trade show. Um, the trade show is a family event, same with the um, induction ceremony. And uh, if you want to drink afterwards, uh, come to the after party where you get a deal on your alcohol. Um, anything else, remember, you can always send us a message through Twitter or email. Um, you can call me as well, 647-224-2199. These next couple of days, I'm going to be on the road, so that's probably the best way to reach me immediately. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday. And uh, I want to thank everybody that is participating and um, that has helped. Thank you to all my sponsors. And uh, we'll see you all on Saturday. Any questions, remember, hit us up. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode.